Hey guys, just thought I'd give you an update on that Admiral 12 inch portable I've been working on. As you can see, I have a much better picture than I did before. Uh, primarily the cause was loose connections on the circuit board and a, a couple of open grounds. Uh, this machine uses uh, just hex nuts to tie the ground plane of the circuit board to the main chassis ground. And uh, as you might imagine, considering how hot these things get with all the tubes inside, the thermal cycling between hot and cold basically caused the grounds to break loose. So uh, that in combination with uh, miswiring of the control grids on the CRT, uh, the voltage on the CRT grids uh, was too high. It was like around 190 something. It was supposed to be about 170. Uh, and that was just due to a wiring error on somebody's part. Somebody omitted uh, shorted across the grid resistors, which I don't know what they were trying to do there, but uh, that was really stupid. So we wired the CRT up correctly, and uh, now we have a much better picture. Uh, still a little soft around the edges. You can see that the details aren't that great. I just have a stationary Mario screen capture here. Uh, and the colors really need attention. In fact, if I just reset my Nintendo, you'll see the horrible color bleed. We crank up the uh, chroma here. You can see how it kind of bleeds. We have blue coming off of red. It's really kind of... And then we have this red haze down here along the blue. That's a uh, cheap demodulation. That's really just poor engineering. So I'll probably do what I can to uh, fix the color section and do a complete alignment so that it actually looks halfway decent. But right now, I mean, it's not terrible. It's a little bit saturated, but it's not terrible. I mean, this is playable. If we go to our grayscale, I've got really good grayscale. I've got plenty of brightness. Uh, I tweaked with the uh, AGC section, so now I have a decent amount of contrast too. It's not going to be a super bright picture. It's only a 22 kilovolt system, as opposed to a modern set which would have you know 35, 40 kV. Uh, and plus, this is just real. The regulation on this is kind of poor. There's no shunt regulator or anything. They just monitor uh, current feedback from the high voltage supply. But uh, it's coming along. I'm just kind of messing with it little by little. The color thing is really what needs attention. I mean, probably from your perspective, the colors look all right, but from my perspective, they're really smeared and blurred. So eventually, this thing will get cherried out, and then we'll do complete setups and alignment on it, and it should be a pretty good little set. Oh, and I uh, still have yet to disable the instant on feature, which keeps the heaters lit at all times. And since this has a, a good CRT, I'm not going to uh, leave them burning all the time. But uh, there's my update, and uh, I'll post again on this set when I have something done with it completely. But it's getting there. Just uh, stay tuned and see what happens.